Hi, I'm Ted Wodoslowski with C3 Controls. In this video, we'll talk about the basics of pilot devices, so let's get going. Pilot devices, which are comprised of selector switches, push buttons, pilot lights, signal beacons, and toggle switches, are mainly used in commercial or industrial applications where a human-to-machine interface is required. Based on design, pilot devices can be distinguished into two types, indication devices and actuation devices, and some provide both indication and actuation, such as an illuminated push button. Typically used as part of a system, automated process, or control panel, these devices provide information on the conditioning and control monitoring for different types of processes, machinery, and equipment. Now let's talk about the different types of pilot devices. Push buttons are control devices that are used to manually close and open a set of contacts. They are available with a variety of operating designs such as flush, extended, or mushroom head, and with or without illumination. These devices are usually provided with normally closed, normally open, or combination contact blocks. Pilot lights, as the name suggests, are devices that provide a visual indication about the operating status of a circuit. They are mainly used for on-off indication, changing conditions, and alarm signaling. Pilot lights are also available in a variety of designs such as indicator, relampable, and non-relampable. An indicator light is equipped with an incandescent lamp or LED and are mainly used in automated instruments, condition panels, and dashboards. Relampable pilot lights feature a lens that can be replaced from the front of the device when they stop functioning. Now, as the name suggests, non-relampable pilot lights are offered as one-piece devices with a fixed lens. It means that the whole indicator needs to be replaced if the light stops functioning. Pilot lights include a color lens such as red, green, blue, yellow, amber, clear, or white. These color lenses communicate the condition of the machine or equipment to which the lights are connected. Selector switches. These are rotary devices used to close or open contacts manually. Typically available designs such as spring return, maintained, or key operated types, selector switches differ from push buttons only in their operation. Selector switches feature levers or knobs that are rotated or to open or close the contacts, whereas push buttons operate linearly and have buttons for performing the same task. The contact blocks on the selector switches are typically interchangeable with those on the push buttons. These switches can be easily used to select one or multiple possibilities such as handoff automatic, higher low speed, run or stop, and up or down. Select switches available in two, three, or four position types. Emergency stops or emergency stop push buttons are designed to improve the safety of equipment and workers. They are required by installation codes and standards and are used to disable a machine or a system in the event of an emergency. These devices are usually provided with push pull or push twist and release functions. And finally, potentiometers. These devices feature three terminal resistors with rotating or sliding contacts, which adjust the voltage sent to the machine. Now let's talk about the range of pilot devices. In the US, pilot devices are mainly categorized based on their construction as modular or compact, also known as monolithic. Modular devices are designed such that each individual component can be selected and configured for a special purpose. They enable pre-wiring, are customizable and flexible. They can easily be used in industrial environments and are often designed to comply with UL type ratings of 1, 3, 3R, 4, 4X, 12, and 13. The most common sizes for these are 30 millimeters and 22 millimeters. Compact. These devices help OEM save space and streamline their operational costs. For each all-in-one designs, these devices have limited functionalities. Unlike modular designs, compact pilot devices do not allow the flexibility of multiple configurations. Well, that's it for this video. We here at C3 Controls hope you found the information helpful. To download the companion white paper, which provides an in-depth look into the pilot device ratings, colors, meanings, and functions, go to c3controls.com blog. Thank you for watching and have a great day from C3 Controls.